Rama Nation, Chris Cobain here bringing you my first YouTube video in what seems like an eternity. It's been nearly a month. Uh, I apologize for that. I haven't been uh, focusing on YouTube as much as I should have. I've kind of put it on the back burner with a lot of things going on. I won't bore you with the details of that. What you should focus on is the fact that I am here, I'm back, and I'm going to try my best to bring you, you know, YouTube content. A uh, video every couple days at least. I would really love to ha uh, get that going. Uh, so to ease you guys in, I'm going to bring you guys a sweep. Now, a lot of you guys here know my boy Durant. Um, he's been one of my staples since early in my stream, uh, since I've been playing competitively. And I've never actually gotten a sweep with him. I've gotten close. I actually, uh, if you guys remember, uploaded a video of him crashing a bunch of legends. Uh, not, not nearly that severe this time, but it is a whole sweep, and I had to get it up because Durant is one of my favorite Pokemon that I use. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, not much on my team you need to um, think about other than the fact that Durant is there, and my opponent is going to be carrying Electivire, Lucario, uh, Umbreon, Mega Alakazam, Gengar, and, you know, well, one of my all-time favorites, Gliscor. Uh, so right off the bat, it's looking scary. Durant isn't really looking even, even viable, honestly, because uh, if it's Mega Luke, he outspeeds Alakazam and Gengar both outspeed. Gliscor is hard to take down. Um, Electivire could be Scarfed. I mean, there's a lot of threats of potential to Mr. Durant there, but end up getting through it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual battle here. Um, so my opponent is going to go ahead. He's going to lead off with his Scorpion, which is obviously the Gliscor, that's not that big a deal. Um, I'm going to leave with Fireworks, Fireworks obviously can you turn out anything, but I'm not going to here because I was predicting him to go for the Protect. And I bring in Durant right off the bat. Uh, he does go protect, protect, I made the right prediction there. Going in Durant might seem like a weird thing, but he can't Toxic me, he can't Earthquake me to do a lot of damage. I figured I had half a chance here to set up on him, which is why I decided to stay in here, because most, uh, most Gliscors obviously don't carry a lot of damage outside Earthquake, so I was correct. He has to go for the Earthquake there. It actually does a lot. I don't know if he was uh, invested at all. This play made me mad. I made myself mad here. He went for Protect. I went for Iron Head. I could have Home Clawed again. Earthquake wouldn't have killed me. I I don't know. I should have. I didn't want to get greedy, though. So he's going to bring in Luke, uh, Lucario off the plus one uh, for me. I'm going to go for Iron Head. It does actually half, which I was very happy with. I was scared of, like, priority here, but, uh, it turns out he doesn't use any. Uh, so he's going down. Wouldn't have been that big a deal unless he had, like, uh, I, I guess Mach Punch, but that still would have done that. Or he didn't even learn that. Never mind. Uh, maybe Vacuum Whip. So he's gonna bring in Scorpion again here. Um, I go for another Iron Hand right off the bat just to do it. I didn't think he'd protect. He goes for another Earthquake, uh, right now. And this is where the biggest prediction came in. I will almost decide to get greedy and go for home calls again. I debated against it, because I was like, you know what, even if you protect, after another poison hill, I think I can kill him. So I went for it, and he did not protect again. I would have been dead to Earthquake there, so I made the right play there. I was happy with myself at that time. Brings an Umbra out here. Uh, I just go straight for Exorcist. A lot of times, I'm not sure, uh, but it ends up do does just one hit him, which is awesome. Uh, Durant is such a powerhouse with that plus one off the hustle and everything. He's so hard. Uh, brings in Vastness here. Now, this was a little weird. Uh, he's not sashed, and I outsped. Now, obviously, that's not normally the case. Could have been a modded set. Typically, most Gengars are timid, so I don't know there, but, uh, not, you know, I, I'll take it either way, obviously, so. I'm gonna bring in Tesla here. This thing ends up not being Scarf. x is just gonna obliterate him. Uh, that's five kills already. Durant's got one to go. It's the one I was really worried about after killing Gliscor. It's Alakazam. Uh, 120 base speed, obviously. He goes Mega. Now, this is uh, not so weird because with the Alakazam getting the base 150 speed, a lot of times people do run him modest because of his crazy speed anyway. So if he was modest, I would have barely outsped him. Obviously, he's not going to get the uh, the speed boost until next turn. So he's not able to outspeed me there off of uh, being modest. And I'm going to one-hit that thing with X Scissor, and that's going to be it quickly. Uh, going down there, 6-0 to Durant, uh, no one else even did damage, actually, the only one you saw was Braviary, who didn't even U-turn out. Um, I did make one misplay in there, I should have home claws uh, when the Gliscor protected the first time, but I was able to make up for a little bit by not going for home claws the next time and wasting my sweep. Amazing, uh, amazing battle there for Durant. 
Was a couple weird things, obviously. Uh, no, no, uh, priority on Lucario, but maybe the best he had was, like, extreme speed. Uh, outsped Gengar, which I thought was really weird. Uh, but I'm not too surprised by the Alakazam at speed, like I said. Uh, Modest isn't terribly uncommon on a Pokemon that fast, so... Uh, I, like I said, would have barely outsped base there, so... Anyway, guys, uh, I thank you guys for taking the time of your day to watch my video. I really do appreciate it, guys. Uh, look forward, hopefully, to uploads every few days at least here. Um, I really want to focus on my YouTube after not focusing on it for such a long time. Um, but that's it for me, you guys. I'm getting out of here. Um, so make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed that video. I'd appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not done that yet. And if you guys haven't seen my live screen, uh, stream, excuse me, I urge you to check it out over at twitch.tv slash xchriscobain. We have a great time there. And I'm out of here, guys. I will see you guys in the next video.